Blessings and welcome to our weekly SMP update. A few announcements and then a short reflection. This weekend we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension, where Jesus returns to the Father and prepares his disciples for the coming of the Holy Spirit, which we will celebrate at Pentecost next week. Monday, our nation celebrates Memorial Day. Please join us for Mass at 9 a.m. and then a special invitation out at our parish cemetery, Calvary Cemetery, at 10.45 a.m. to bless our new columbarium. There will be coffee and donuts afterwards to celebrate. For those of you who have already responded to the annual Catholic Appeal, thank you so much for your generosity and most of all your participation. We are still quite a ways away from our participation goal as well as our financial goal. So if you haven't yet made a commitment, I ask that this week you prayerfully consider that and by Pentecost as your response to the grace of the Holy Spirit to make a commitment on behalf of the work of the Archdiocese. A short reflection. I suspect that most of us have been touched deeply by the events in Uvalde, Texas this past week. The senseless murder of children and teachers, the tragedy of families once again, their lives torn apart by such tragedy, the trauma of children in the school, of parents, and of the small community reeling from this tragedy. I can't help but think of Mary as she wept at the foot of the cross of her son. Mary, the mother of sorrows. Mary, who is so close to those families. My dear friends, let us hold them in prayer. And let us hold our nation in prayer. Our nation who is dedicated to the Immaculate Conception. Let us ask the Blessed Mother to bring about healing and to bring hope. Let us look into our own hearts and wherever there might be bitterness, resentment, anger, hatred, let us pray for healing. Let us pray for reconciliation. And let us ask Our Lady of Sorrows to be close to those who sorrow most. And let us also pray to Our Lady of Consolation that she might bring consolation to those families, to those children, to those most affected. So if you would please join me in praying this heartfelt prayer to Mary, the Marmorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petition, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Let us pray with one another. Let us pray for those who are sorrowing. Let us pray for our nation. And let us pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit to renew the face of the earth.